and welcome to Geek Play Studio tutorials. In these tutorials we'll look in Photoshop different way how we can uh, sharpen our image. So we'll go to use just uh, some single shot as example and I'm in Adobe Bridge. So we'll select one file and open inside the camera raw. So this image it was shot on Canon 5D Mark III. Okay, we can also come closer and look some effects. So this is not yet processed, it's all as original. What I'm going to do right now, it is um, readjusting inside the camera to bring a little bit more of the sharpening inside the camera. And uh, after this, we'll look how we can sharpen inside the Photoshop. So we'll want all this process of the sharpening and also we'll see which areas is preferably sharp for different subjects. Like for example, if it's female face, um, mostly I want sharp probably outside edges, hair, maybe around eyes, a little bit on lips, um, but I don't want to bring too heavy textures um, on the skin, so we won't be sharpening inside. However, if it was a male model, we in, I specifically want to bring more texture maybe inside the skin we will do this way so let's look and see what we're going to do right here first on this image um, normally what I do it is check on a profile so fix some lines and uh, you can fix several ways it's, it can be abbreviation on the colors or distortion in the middle again normally I enable and look like for example in this case we have kind of this punch out on the middle, create face so I don't like it. I will not use it um, a lens profile. However, if you want, you can do your own customization and also increase this distortion, reduce, but also remove some veneering. So you can customize and this again based on your lens. This is, was um, Canon 7200 2.8 L2s. And uh, we also can see it was shot at uh, f16 125 millimeters so we'll have a good field of depth should be um, problem when you have a higher field of depth the sharpening you want to do more on uh, the edges where you focus like eyes and some unsharp areas we actually want to avoid sharpening to give it this nice booking and blur effect to this okay so this is the first step next let's go inside and see um, adjustment exposure again you can personal but again we want to concentrate on this I'm just readjusting bring just slightly down highlights okay next I'm going in the luminosity and uh, normally just pop up a little bit on a skin you can notice right here we can go all the way and see where all this act will need probably fix it afterwards but also if we bring a little bit more luminosity to the skin color to orange this will remove some of those artifacts for us. So it's kind of give it a nice smooth effect. Okay, and now we can go inside the sharpness. And what I do, it's come closer to the skin. Okay, we can also move slightly around. Okay, if we're going all the way, here's what I'm looking for. These kind of artifacts you can see. This will go let it just amount a little bit lower same on some details and we can bring masking masking will affect but at the same time you can see we can lose quite a bit details so be careful used on this as well if we have it some um, luminosity effect like right here we can increase um, noise reduction on this level so just bring a little bit okay, take it down We can preview so a little bit clean up and also sharpen inside the image okay when we're done let's go ahead and click you can always open as object by hold down shift in this case we can open a smart object for but for the purpose of this tutorial I don't I won't come back to this image so we'll just open as the normal image okay usually if you work on a processing photography you will go and start removing all of this effect kind of um, on a skin and uh, if you're not familiar with the 
one way it's to do you create new layer and you're using the healing or spot brush and by using this you can go and just kind of start cleaning by small touches you can have a smaller brush but again it's how you're going can just fixing but again this tutorial not about um, how to touch up portraits we'll just go and look on different type of the sharpening so let me go ahead and disable this layer and I'm going to just create a new one okay on this layer first and we'll create each of them to look how they can affect our sharpness the first usually what you do is you go to filter sharpen and you use it on sharp mask okay so we can bring closer the problem with using unsharp mask if you increase in quiet but you start having these outlines you can see kind of white ones and they're not so um, kind of visible if you do right here let's come closer to the eye okay if you're doing on a high resolution um, Uh, photography so it's not very hard but if you come very close or smaller you can see right here we start having these white artifacts so you kind of need to keep it down and again normally if you depend on a resolution you can go probably on this one you can go about two pixels in radius so increasing um, but normally I keep it about one maybe even slightly below sharpening and what it does is detect the edge and add contrast between two edges so it's how they this unsharp working so this is one way that we can add click OK so let's create new layer and we'll just call unsharp mask and this one okay the next one you can also create by overlaying and that one actual techniques will add more to the edge of the photo for example let's move slightly out to do this we actually need to duplicate the layer again so we have one which we're working and duplicate it same one we'll switching this to the overlay mode and next inside the filter other we'll use the high pass so right here in a high pass and you can kind of see um, effect will be applied in a second the normal radius and uh, set about one pixel if you want it maybe less similar to unsharp but this is will perform a little bit better more gentle effect of the sharpness um, it's works similar like right here you can see it's detecting edges and kind of add with the overlay effect of the layers um, darker or brighter depend but again because you how you work it's greatly a bit more gentle than sharpness effect you can have a grinch uh, a little bit grungy effect if you increase and you can see right here i'm increasing pixels and we have right here on the skin become all grungy kind of but just for the sharpening keep it one and again a gray color with overlay won't affect our image 50 percent gray it's only when it's going white or darker um, you also notice right here we have some color differential you can change this um, with other sharpening and I'll show you in a second so this is let's go select them together we'll merge and let's call this high pass sharpening okay so we'll go create another one and uh, Let's move on the top okay the other ways we can do same similar way with overlay but add a little bit more on the flatten of the image so we'll go create second image but in this time avoid those color just kind of differential we'll go image and just and we'll go to the black and white okay now in the black and white what I want to do is bring red which is a most represent skin a little bit higher a bit more on the yellow and bring other ones just slightly down okay right here let's click OK so you can preview right here is our image we kind of flatten
colors quite a bit the next I want to even flatten them more so we'll go image adjustment and we'll use it the shadows and highlights we'll take shadows bring 200 and highlights 200 you can notice how we kind of have it very heavy right here on this metallic look so we'll click OK and next we can use it soft light for this okay right here you can see how we're increasing which increased some contrast but it will increase in a larger areas as well and of course if you want more green to sharpener you can use it um, hard light notice right here like on the lips we add quite a bit contrast between and let's give it all this pixelization and give it kind of sharpness to some effect but again it's work on the same ways as an overlay it just detect um, in a gray area 50% it doesn't affect wider it's at this kind of um, dodge and burn type effect to our image so let's go ahead switch to soft light can we can a little bit readjusting we take these two images merge together and we'll call this dodge and burn okay so let's create one more and another one I want to show you and this kind of very interesting effect it is um, more sharpening other ones was working on an edges that this new sharpening will work inside actually on the texturing so combination with outside sharpening and inside sharpening you can have it um, quite a bit interesting effect so for this we'll go create three layers actually okay this is will be our main layer these two layers will actually affect with sharpenings we go to group them together okay, as the group selected we'll switch to overlay next the top one will go switch to vivid light type of the blending and now we need inverse by press control i so currently you see no different no effect at all what I want to do right now, just a little bit come closer. Okay, like right here. And next, what we want to do is actually blur this image. And it's kind of interesting because you're blurring, but you're increasing sharpness. And opposite, if you actually start sharpening, you will be blurring. Um, so we'll go image, filter, blur. And we'll select surface blur while we select that our vivid light inverted. So right here you kind of can see some changes here we can set radius maybe not as high threshold and right here you can see we have a change inside kind of like add more texturing okay without and with so this filter actually work very well if you do green or in portion of the hair so for example if I do this I don't want to apply that filter everywhere I will create a mask inverse and just put it on a hair or other but again for this one we can go to merge together and we'll call this blurring sharpness kind of interesting so right here what do we have this is our original this is by using unsharp mask this is by using high pass you can unsharpen the high pass you can see high pass have a little bit more gentle look okay let me go bring a little bit even closer so we can preview so right here just slightly it's have it okay that should burn give it overall a big details kind of contrast and of course we have our blurring which is add details if we compare to original you can see it's add details more to the texture to the skin okay so right here the different type of the sharpness will look on an image we can prefer from um, global details like this this is large scale um, internal kind of blur inside and uh, sharpening and high pass 
if we need to do for kind of outside or on the edges of the black and white kind of more those type of sharpening again combining them together and with the masking you can actually have a very nice sharpening down to your image that's all thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember this does on a web is www.geekatplay.com